in this video, I wanna share with you uh, how I structured and planned and went about my week four of my training, which happened to be a rest week. Hopefully along the way, I can give you some tips about creating your own rest weeks in your training. Just a couple quick assignments, I'm not a coach, okay? Not accredited in any way. This is all stuff that I've learned from my experience for an average runner. Take it and experiment with it yourself. First things first, when to have rest weeks. They say three, every three to four weeks in your training. If you're building, build for three weeks, have a rest week. Or build for two weeks, have a rest week. Whatever works for you. In this training block, I just wanted to push for three weeks, rest, push for two weeks, then taper. What's the overall goal of the rest week? And this is really important to think about before you structure it. So in my example here, uh, in this training block, I'm not building mileage in any way. I'm just sticking with the same number of Ks. If we bring up my Strava graph for the last few months, yes, there's been um, a couple of hiccups where I got crook, but most of the time I've been sitting around that 50 to 60K mark every week. So I stuck with that number of Ks. All I've done is increase the intensity in a couple of those sessions to try and build the speed. It makes sense for my rest week to stay a fairly similar number of Ks, but bring down the intensity. I reduce those intense sessions a little bit. So in, by doing that, I am going to reduce the number of Ks slightly. So keep that low intensity stuff to keep that base there, but just reduce that higher intensity stuff. So let's dive in and have a look at how I went about it. <laughs> Monday should be on screen now. 6.7 Ks, ran about 38 minutes. Especially my easy runs, I always run to time. Now I don't set out, I'm gonna run eight Ks. I give myself a time that frame that I'm gonna run for, and that way, if I feel like rubbish that day and the pace is six minute pace, that's okay. I just run for that amount of time, and I don't hurt myself. All right? I don't push myself to make an eight K run. Let's have a look now at Tuesday. Tuesday is always my tempo day. So this is the first example that we'll see of me reducing that intensity. Still a 6.3K run. Still did my 10 minute warm up. still did my 10 minute cool down after my tempo, but reduced that tempo interval from 28 minutes the week before down to 15. Now that was a fairly drastic reduction. I probably didn't need to go that much, but my legs were thanking me for it at the end in that run, I managed 4.09s. On to Wednesday, another easy run again. Set out to do about 40 minutes. Got through seven Ks. The, the numbers don't really mean anything on those. To me, it's just about getting out there, getting it done, keeping it nice and light, nice and easy for that 40 minutes. Thursday, that's when I do my speed sessions. Now, I did, didn't get to go to the track for this one due to family commitments, so I just did it on the road. The previous week, I had stepped it up to 15 400s. This one, I dropped it right back again, drastically cut that uh, number of speed intervals, did eight 400s. So I kept the pace at about the same, but dropped the number of those speed intervals right back. So I've cut that speed intensity out. I was aiming for about 90 seconds for those 400s. Thursday, 5.3 Ks just uh, cut it down to a 30 minute run uh, on this day. I just really wanted to rest up, take it easy. On Saturday, I just did a standard sort of long run. So went out for about an hour and 20 minutes. Had aimed to do something around an hour and 20, hour and 30 minutes, around the 15K mark. But basically this day was one of those horror days where nothing goes right. Didn't get out in the morning to get the the long run done. Uh, I was waiting all day and just it just didn't happen. The kids were foul, whatever. Got out late at night, uh, at about eight o'clock at night. So I thought, all right, let's just go for as long as I feel like. Just decided to call it quits after 13 and a half Ks. I could have added, added an extra loop in there for another 10 minutes, but my legs just weren't in it and my head just wasn't in it. I just went, no, nah, okay, that's enough. It was about uh, 8, 30, 9 o'clock by that stage. Still got a few Ks in. Um, but yeah, just kept that intensity down. So then finished the week with another 30 minute run, 5.6 Ks. Uh, that one was nice and easy, which was lovely. 51.5 Ks for the week. If we compare that to the week before, the week before was 63.7. So the, the previous three weeks were 63 Ks. So I had dropped the number of Ks, but basically I just took out intense kilometers, kept the easy Ks in, 
but took out the intense ones. And that's because I'm building the speed work and increasing the speed work that I've been doing. The whole point is to give your body a chance to just rest, recuperate, and absorb some of that training that you've been doing. All right, I uh, hope you found this video, video useful. Let me know your tips or what you think of uh, what I've said about rest weeks down below in the comments. All right, if you did like the video, make sure you click like. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye.